What's up guys, I'm Sean. So my track car weighs about 3,000 pounds flat, but since I added weight with the wing, and I'll be adding the splitter and canard soon, let's see if we could counteract that and remove some more weight. <laughs> So the wing's not on the car now, I removed it temporarily and when I'm on track I usually run with lightweight 18 inch wheels. These are just my street wheels and I normally don't run with a passenger seat. So my car is pretty much completely gutted. I already removed the carpets, most of the airbags, the sunroof, etc. So the last thing I need to remove is some of the sound deadening material. You can see it here, here, some here. behind the seat, underneath the seat, some back here, some on the rear seat area, some in the trunk, and behind the seat. So some people say the sound depth material is about 20 pounds, so I'm gonna remove most of it and I'm gonna weigh it. So here are the main tools you need to remove the sound deadening. A heat gun, not a blow dryer, the blow dryer doesn't get high enough. Some random scrapers that are pretty hard and some acetone to clean the residue. So I'm gonna start in the trunk because it's the easiest to get to. So I think the key is you don't wanna get it too hot because if it gets too hot, then it's too soft. You probably wanna get it fairly warm, then it comes off together Instead of making it too hot, then it becomes more liquidy. So use the heat gun, heat it up. And then as it's warm, then start filling away. So this is off. I didn't think it weighed much, but if you think about it, you know, a few pounds here and there, it starts to add up. Now to clean it, I have acetone and a towel. So the acetone takes off all the sticky residue. You can spend more time trying to scrape this off, but no one's gonna see it anyway, so I don't really care, but all the sticky stuff is gone, and we just removed this section. So now I'm in the area between the back seat and the trunk. It would've been a lot easier to do this before I added the cage, but that's too late now, so I'm just gonna work around it. So I just removed most of the uh, sound deadening between the back seat and the trunk. I think that was the hardest part because of my cage. And now I just have to clean it up a little bit. Now if you see this yellow part, that's the seam sealer. You probably want to leave that. The seam sealer holds the body panels together. So I just removed the passenger seat. So I can get to the back area. So this is the area that's underneath the back seat. Move that. Get to this underneath the passenger seat, along the uh, transmission tunnel, and a little bit right here. So here's a little tip. I just wrapped the wires going into the fuel pump with some aluminum foil so the heat gun doesn't melt it or mess up the wiring. So in this area, the sound deadening material comes off really easily. And here's a third of it, or almost half of it. So I just finished the area underneath the back seat. Probably the easiest one to do so far. So I'm pretty much done with the passenger side. Did the front of the transmission tunnel all the way to the rear. Underneath the front passenger seat. Behind the passenger seat. Underneath the back seat. Between the back seat and the trunk. And the trunk I showed you earlier. I'm gonna leave this area because I don't think it's much. And actually it helps with the noise against the rock hitting the fender well. So now I'm going to work on the driver's side. And remove the sound deadening here, 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 and there. And some up there and there. So the driver's side is done. I left this section there because the trans tunnel gets hot. And I don't want to burn my legs when I'm driving to the track. So this is inside the passenger door. 
And there's some sound deadening material inside the door as well. So the passenger door is done. Now I'm gonna work on the driver's door. So everything done. I put the interior back in, reconnected the battery, and now let's see how much stuff we removed. So here's all the sound deadening that I removed from the car, its whole bag. So let's see how much it weighs. So it's just about 16 pounds. 16 pounds might not seem like a lot, but this is pretty much dead weight. It's useless. I mean, if you have a street car, you probably want to leave it in there for uh, sound deadening. But for a track car, it's dead weight. So these are the best mods, free mods. 16 pounds removed, help counteract some of the weight that I added. And then in a few days, I'm going to be doing the manual swap. And I think the manuals are about 18 or so pounds lighter than the SMG. And also, I'm going with a lightweight flywheel, so I think that saves about 10 to 15 pounds. So that's another 30 or so pounds that I'm going to save. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.